वेलकम टू बिलमेर ब्लॉक्स टुडे वी विल टेक ए वेरी शॉर्ट सेशन ऑफ हाउ टू मेक ए डिसीजन इन फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर सींग ए गेस्टेशनल सेक विद एन नो एम्ब्रियो और यू आर सींग एन एम्ब्रियो बट नो कार्डिक एक्टिविटी वॉज ओवर दियर सो दीज आर द केसेज वायर यू हैव टू टेक ए डिसीजन सो द डिसीजन मेकिंग इन फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर first of all what you have to see whether embryo is visualized or not so if embryo is visualized then you have to make sure that cardiac activity is present or absent if the cardiac activity is present then you have to see the yolk sac if present or not here make a red note whenever i am talking of this cardiac activity present you have to see not only if it is present or not but you have to correlate the fetal heart rate with crl which we have discussed in previous uh, vlog how to correlate whether you are dealing with a uh, normal fetal heart rate or a bradycardia so not only present but present and normal then you have to see for yolk sac you have to see for yolk sac present yolk sac present and normal or abnormal what is abnormal for yolk sac we have discussed in previous vlog that if i am having a small yolk sac that is abnormal or a big yolk sac that is also abnormal internal echoes in that and calcifications in yolk sac is also abnormal so the yolk sac present and normal then only this case this fetus is normal so the point is merely visualizing the fetus with a normal cardiac activity is not making it normal unless and until you are correlating this cardiac activity with crl to say whether i am dealing with fetal bradycardia or not and yolk sac if present it is good but you have to see whether i am dealing with a normal or abnormal yolk sac then only the case is normal so now here he heart rate normal routine obscur by normal i mean you have to correlate this fetal heart rate with crl to label this as fetal bradycardia or normal fetal heart rate now what if i am having a cardiac activity present and normal but yolk sac is absent or abnormal then i need a close follow up for this case try to understand not only cardiac activity present makes it normal no you have to see for the yolk sac if present or abnormal you have to close follow up that case and if it is ab uh, absent then also you have to take a close follow up so abnormal yolk sac or absent yolk sac needs a follow up because in most of cases you will be having you you this case is itself abnormal and the uh, prognosis is not good now heart rate heart rate if normal what i mean by normal no fetal bradycardia and if heart rate is abnormal again this needs a close follow up so the important point till now is that we don't see the embryo only we don't see the cardiac activity whether present or not we have to correlate the cardiac activity then only we can take the, that as normal and then only this is routine obscure otherwise we have to take a close follow up and same is true for the yolk sac also you have to see whether yolk sac is present and normal now what if is cardiac activity is absent if cardiac activity is absent then you have to see for the crl if crl is more than 5 mm then you have you can label that as missed abortion but and the routine evacuation of the uterine cavity is necessary here but if crl is less than 5 mm you can follow the case here the follow up is required maybe uh, it will appear later on because maybe you are dealing with the late conception and if it is found after one week you 
can label that case as normal and this case will be for routine obscure so the important point here is that you don't have only to see for the gestational sac you don't only have to see for the embryo whether present or not you only don't have to see for the fetal cardiac activity but till now we were seeing these three points gestational sac there fetal pole there and cardiac activity but what we are missing is the correlation of fetal heart rate with crl what we were missing I, we're not missing we're not giving sufficient time for that what we were not giving sufficient time to is the yolk sac whether present or absent and if present then if it is normal then only routine ops here so i hope that this flow chart will help you in making a decision in first trimester ultrasound thank you very much i hope that you are enjoying and you are getting benefited by these short vlogs these are not classes these are small vlogs from us for complete details of uh, this detailed ultrasound courses you can visit our website www.bilbet.net or you can contact our helpline number thank you very much